So hi everyone, OpenAI has just now released GPT-01 model, which is a subsidiary to GPT-5, and it has outperformed GPT-40, their best model on almost all the benchmarks. But there are some limitations of GPT-01 that I wish to cover in this particular video. So in the blog post released by OpenAI, this one graph caught my attention. So as mentioned by OpenAI, GPT-01 is great at any logical problem solving which is quite complicated but it is limiting at creative tasks. So this was a graph released by the team where they compared creative tasks like personal writing and editing text with more logical problems like computer programming, data analysis, mathematical calculation. Now to understand this graph, this orange bar is basically for O1 model and the remaining white space can be taken as a percentage for the GPT-4 O model. So basically, if there's 100%, this orange bar would represent 46% in the first case and 54% for GPT-40. So basically, they're trying to compare if they anonymize the output and then give it to a human. This was the experiment they did, what the human would choose. So in this case, in case of personal writing, out of 100 samples, uh, the people chose 46 times O1 and 54 times GPT-40. So basically, if the orange bar is less than this dotted line, this means that GPT-40 was preferred for that particular task. While if the orange bar is higher than the dotted line, that means that O1 model, the new model was preferred over GPT-40 by humans when anonymize the data set. So here you can see that for the complicated task like computer programming, data analysis, mathematical calculation, it is very high for O1. So people are preferring it to as high as 70 to 73 percent compared to GPT-40 which is preferred getting like just 25 30 percent times but in case of creative task as you can see here personal writing the number is below 50 percent and for editing text also it is almost similar to 50 percent so people are preferring both GPT-40 and O1 model so in conclusion it is not that great with creative tasks as compared to logical tasks as they have also mentioned in their text that however O1 preview is not preferred on some natural task languages suggesting that it is not well suited for all the use cases so this is a very very important point to note that you it might not be great with creative tasks like writing text or writing me a poem but uh, no, undoubtedly best for any logical problem one more limitation that i feel when i was looking at their output is if you know they are started using a chain of thought approach while Find while training the model. So basically, it won't just give you an output, but it will give you a whole thought back output. So it will first think of an idea, then go back and revert key. Okay, I made a mistake, then it will again think out. It will think at a very granular level. So it would be good if you are looking for accuracy, but this will lead to two issues. So if you look at the length of the chain of thought for this particular use case, Cypher, I'm talking about. So this is the output generated, as you can see. To decode the given cipher text, this is the output generated. Output is pretty good, very detailed. Similarly, for this is the output of GPT-40. But now, when you jump onto the chain of thought process, which is which won't be shown to you as mentioned in the blog post, but would be generated by the model itself. So this is huge. Just see this. I would be scrolling it till the end, not cutting anything. For this particular text, it's just huge. Just see this particular scroller the chain of thought generated is huge and this will lead to two problems i would say one is computational power because for generating more tokens you would require more power second thing it will also lead to more time consumption as well so if gpt40 was giving you answer in say five seconds it might give you answer in 20 seconds that can be the another issue and I think that the cost would be a little higher as well because once you're outputting more tokens, I think the cost will also go higher. So I tried it for almost all the sections here and I can see that the average length for the chain of thought is quite big. Here also it's quite, the, uh, the final output is about one tenth of what actual thinking going on. The answers are correct, no doubt about it. But I think this can be an issue when you're going with a creative problem because in that case, uh, there's no objective right or wrong so in that case it might be going through multiple iterations of thinking back and reasoning and coming back so this will lead to a lot of time 
consumption as well as might lead to a lot of resource consumption and would be a higher costing prompt i would say so these are the two limitations that i found out from the documentation one is it is not great with all natural language tasks more good with the logical task second thing time consumption computational power as well as it might be a little costlier what i'm assuming so thank you so much i hope this was useful for you